Here's some highlights of the final qualifying session of the weekend for the ITM 500 Auckland. Early on, Jamie Wincup, who was hustling, just ran a little bit wide in that opening sequence of corners that leads down here to turn four, but he gathered it up and still managed to put car one on the front row for this afternoon's race. Always lots of action at that new complex that was brought in here for the return to Pukekohe Park in 2013. Todd Kelly bolted up the order for a while. James Moffat looked very strong in the Farrison back Nissan Altima. He ended up seventh in car 99. Good job. It was a frantic, a very exciting qualifying session. The margins very narrow. In fact, when you look across the top 10, just three tenths of a second separated those guys. Unbelievably close. Scott McLaughlin, much to the delight of the local crowd, would ultimately knock Michael Caruso off the top spot. The Nissan driver was potentially looking at his first pole position. This one happened for David Reynolds. Somehow, the 55 didn't suffer any serious damage, and he managed to bank a reasonable one away. There was congestion in pit lane. Very tight as they all left for their final shot, their final run at pole position. This arguably was one of the most exciting qualifying sessions of the season. And when it mattered, in front of the home crowd, Scotty McLaughlin delivered. Well done to he, to everyone at Gary Rogers Motorsport and Volvo.